There's nothing quite like staying up late and watching old-timey contraptions hiss and chug to life. And today we get to do just that. Welcome to this house. Today we are exploring steam-powered dreams, the invention that ignited an era of innovation. Our story begins in an age when the very air we breathe was thick with coal smoke and the relentless chugging of pistons echoed through the valleys. It was an age of invention when men with wild dreams and even wilder beards were taking the first tentative steps towards harnessing the power of steam. Among them was a man named Thomas Savory, a British military engineer who, like many of his contemporaries, had become fascinated with the potential of steam power. Savory's invention, patented in 1698, was a remarkable feat of engineering. It consisted of a boiler that produced pressurized steam, which was then used to drive a pump that could, in theory, be used to remove water from mines. While not the first steam engine ever created, Savory's invention was a significant improvement over previous designs. It possessed several key features that would define the steam engines of the industrial era. His engine featured a piston that moved up and down inside a cylinder, thereby converting the power of steam into controlled linear motion. This linear motion could then be used to drive other mechanisms, such as a pump or a mill. But perhaps even more importantly, Savory's engine could produce a continuous flow of power as long as the fire beneath the boiler was kept up. This continuous power output was a revolutionary concept that set the stage for the future of steam-powered machinery. Before long, the idea caught on like wildfire. By the middle of the 18th century, the English town of Newcastle was already home to several workshops that were turning out a steady supply of new steam engines. These engines were put to work in a variety of settings, powering everything from factories to sawmills. In fact, one of the first uses of steam power was in the textile industry. Steam engines were used to power looms, spinning machines that create the intricate patterns and designs found in textiles. This innovation led to a surge in textile production, making fabrics not only cheaper but also more accessible to the general public. As the century wore on, the power of steam would only grow. By the end of the 18th century, steam engines were being used to power all kinds of machinery in a variety of settings, from mines to factories to transportation systems. The age of steam had begun. Join us next time as we continue to explore the incredible world of early modern engineering. And don't forget to stay updated on all things related to this house. Until then, my friends, until then.